Okay, for those of you who followed the first video, we stopped after we did all the configuration files within the soft mod. Being the glimpse, the phone number, we didn't use push bullet in my case as my modem allows text messages. I'm using uh, the 3372 with the 22 firmware so I don't need to put in the APN. We put in the zero tier uh, WPA, SSID and zero tier network here. So if you don't know what they are you need to see the previous video and walk through um, and we'll move on. Now we have to make sure that our disco is running on the latest firmware. In preparation for the video I uninstalled my soft mod and forgot that I had also downgraded the firmware on the disco so it caused a couple of problems for about half an hour but as soon as I realized and upgraded it was fine. So we'll get stuck into the transfer of the soft mod to the disco now. So as you can see the first step is to connect to the disco which I've done. We will then open FileZilla. Uh, quite happy to do it off the old version, thank you. Okay so you need to make sure that we go into the settings transfer file types and make sure we're in binary standardly I think it comes in ASIC or auto but um, make sure we choose binary then OK then what we need to do is type in the disco IP here which is the same for everyone 192.168.42.1 and we are connected OK so I have now moved my soft mod to my desktop and here it is here don't worry if you don't have UAV PAL it just means that I'm just going to overwrite my soft mod uh, that won't appear on yours you will just have the internal triple zero okay you want to highlight it press down with your left mouse button drag it across to the internal and dump it in there it'll be transferred via FTP to your disco okay so we're transferred it's finished we want to disconnect from the disco and we can close out of FileZilla we no longer need that anymore Okay, so now we're ready to uh, telnet to our disco. We need to double press the on button on the disco. You do not need to do it quickly and it will quickly flash green and magenta and then return to flashing blue as you've got no uh, satellite inside just go to simply to your start button type in CMD for command prompt ok and we need to type telnet and its IP address to connect to it so it's 192.168.42.1 ok if you get a hash tag then you are connected. Now all you need to do is simply cut, select all the text, right click and copy or control C but you cannot just control V into a command prompt you actually need to right click and paste. Now this will automatically run you through the entire installation once it's done, 
as it says at the bottom here we need to turn off the sky controller and that beep was the disco rebooting so I'll do that now and then I shall try and connect to my disco and see if we have success I would suggest after the reboot of the disco that you also turn it off and back on because again there has been some issues with that uh, I will try and connect to my disco via the 4G and see if we get the blue lights and if we do we're ready to go I'll also show you on zero tier exactly how that will look so that you know what to look for on zero tier to make sure that your sky controller and your parrot disco are connected to the zero tier network okay so now we have the soft mod installed let's go ahead and see if we can get our full blue lights this generally takes a minute or two I have the full green light on the modem it is green I assure you the blue light is flashing because it's indoors and there's no GPS signal it will turn green as soon as you hit the sky and I have the full blue lights on. and now I have the full blue lights on the sky controller as well so we're all connected I'll now go across to uh, zero T and we will uh, check that out okay so once we have it installed on the disco to check you go to zero tier networks you click on your network you scroll down to the very bottom now I only want to see what's online now what has not what has been online and as you can see two IP addresses which indicates a direct connection make sure that you click on the spanner and allow Ethernet bridge and authorize as well should only need to do that once uh, I'd already done it for the disco if you turn your disco on generally the first one to show up will be the disco so you'd name this disco name this sky controller I haven't done that uh, but that's up to you all you need to do is click in here type your name which will be say sky and bird just for something different and away you go so I hope that uh, you're able to follow that instruction and the more difficult longer setup of the soft mod if you have any questions uh, join us on our slack chat disco 4g uh, the links are all below in the comments it would be great if you enjoy this soft mod if you could make a donation I've linked Mark's PayPal account so that you can send him some love and uh, any questions much easier to join our slack chat because there's many more knowledgeable people there than myself 
I just made this for those of us who are less technically inclined but enjoy using the technology. So, good luck, safe flying, and 